All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai Ba'asham Rakakwadash. And I'm double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect. Okay, this year is Amma 1 from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad. And I'm um, coming back to do another lesson. And the name of this lesson is basically that you be not soon shaken in mind. Alright, what the fuck? I'm gonna get up. I think I first tested on yours. Thessalonians 2. Yeah, I don't mind so. So I'll read it. This is Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse. I read from verse 1. Oh gosh. I read from verse 1, right? It says now we beseech you, brethren. By the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and by our gathering together unto him, that he be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letters from us, as that the day of Yahweh Shai is at hand. The day Yahweh Shai is at hand, and the day Yahweh Shai is not a, a day, alright, to be, to be reckoned. Not a day that everybody on the earth really and truly would like to see because if you know on Yahushai's side, Yahushai's father made unto him a promise, and we know the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Alright, we know that. We get in the book of 1 Peter, chapter, no, not 1 Peter, 2 Peter, 2 Peter, chapter 3. Verse 9, it says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to our sword, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So, we know that the Lord in slack concerning his promise, and this is a promise that the Lord Yahweh made unto his son Yahweh. It says, the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. Now let me jump down to the all right, to the fourth verse. It says, The Lord Yahweh had sworn and will not repent, thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Alright? And he, he told him that. In the spirit and he actually Yahweh Shai right now is the is a priest forever. At the order of Melchizedek, the Lord told him, the Lord made a promise to him, Sit down at my right hand till I make thy enemies thy footstool. And where is Yahweh Shai right now? Stephan bear witness to it. And hey, not just, not just Stephan, a, a lot of the prophets and them say, Yahweh Shai is at the right hand of the Heavenly Father. Stephan himself said it. He said, I see heaven open. Alright, the Apostle Paul said that too. Sit right, so down at the right hand of the majesty on high. And where two or three are, um, the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. The scripture say, right? So the apostle Paul said, and Stephen said it in the book of Acts, the seventh chapter. The last set of verses, and the apostle Paul said, I was sure he's at the right hand. So, what we just read in Psalms 110 verse 1 proves that Yahweh made good on his promise. And this also he made good on his promise by saying the Lord had sworn verse 4 and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Alright? And isn't Yahweh shy 
Hebrews the fourth Hebrews Hebrews the eighth chapter the seventh chapter isn't he I was shy that priest forever after the order of Melchizedek yes so the Lord made good on his promise again there and this uh, this also is our next promise that the Lord told his son that he will do in the day of his wrath verse 5 the Lord at thy right hand which is Yahushai shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath he shall judge among the heathen he shall fill the places with the dead bodies he shall wound the heads over many countries he shall drink of the brook in the way therefore shall he lift up the head so this was promised to Yahawashai by his heavenly father all right which is our heavenly father as well once we do the things that we're supposed to do hey 144 10 now the reason why i named the lesson that he be not soon shaken in mind people will ask people will ask how we going on escape such a such a thing because i was listening to a video from apostle alata hardy and what he basically said is it's so true especially for for brothers who over there in the states because the united states going to be destroyed all right don't let don't let don't, don't let don't be shaken in your mind and and, and turn your back because to be soon shaken in your mind and, and get fearful because you know why we have a deliverance coming from the new um from the nuclear missiles which is our deliverance is from the ufo so-called the so-called ufos the chariots of yahweh bashami awashai the vehicles of the lord all right when yahweh shai returns to fill the places with the dead bodies, to wound the heads of how many countries, to judge among the heathen, to strike two kings in the day of his wrath. Because uh, if you do, I was just watching the Apostle and Lata saying that the missiles are part of Yahweh's army, the missiles going to strike through them kings. Now the whole, and, uh, hey, and even, even we, we ain't mad. You know, as I want to say, we, we crazy, but as we faith, this is what I go and get at. The point is, our faith is what how we outside the preaching the gospel because if you're thinking carnally, if you're thinking carnally, you'll be feared, you'll be fearful because why? The scripture says the fearful and unbelieving, matter of fact. Let me, let me get at the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 9, verse 8. It says, But the fearful and unbelieving, and abominable, and murderers, and mongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So that is what I'm going to do with the fearful. The unbelieving all right they, they were shook in the mind by wherever a little trial and tribulation come the way and they turn the back they didn't believe in the lord to the point where he would have delivered them all right he, he go deliver them from that second that that lake burnt with which burned with fire and brimstone because hey and even even down here, down here in Trinidad, about as you know, a, a, a missile hit here, hit, hit this place as well too because this place had to be destroyed too because it have fucking. I I, I believe the Lord will destroy this place because it have homosexuals. This is this is mini Sodom and Gomorrah. So the Lord and the Lord say, Sodom and Gomorrah is an example. So hey, apparatus a missile hit this place. Let me see how a missile does hit this place. If you fearful and and you ain't believe that the Lord going on deliver you from that. Because we outside there, if you think in carnal, if you if you think in carnal, 
all you got all you will see is that the place gonna be destroyed and you have no escape because as the apostle Lata just said he say I'm still taking a 20 minutes to leave from wherever I coming from to land in the place where you in an airplane or a helicopter can't uh, deliver you from that because the scripture say the heavens and the earth the heavens going the heavens going to be on fire the the, the the skies all them thing going to be on fire when the missiles on them land a, 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 a helicopter queen and be caught a fire you will need to actually be outside the earth's atmosphere to be safe okay to be actually safe this is where the men and them who get delivered would be in the chariots with Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai because I precept the Revelation chapter 15 verse 1 and it says and I saw another sign in heaven greater marvelous seven angels having the seven last plagues for in them is filled up with the wrath of the most high and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire all right and them that had gotten the victory over the beast over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass glass having the harps of the most high which is the men who get delivered all right they the fire they the fire that it can leave the earth's atmosphere okay that fire that might mingle in the sea of glass all right that that what that ozone the ozone layer the ozone it mingled it it, it will can leave the earth's atmosphere you will be outside about as the elect will be outside of the earth's atmosphere so they could look the lord will make it away the look down the look down through the, the chariots you know you know how the lord had the chariot the lord, the lord could make the chariot the bottom of the chariots transparent and you look you look down through the chariots on the bottom looking down and you're seeing the, the fire burning up down there and that is exactly what that uh, uh, uh talking about all right now to to to, to leave that this going to understand that this going on happened to you can't be carnally minded you can't be what soon shaken in mind and troubled and unbelieving you can't be so because why if you're like that then all you could see is that the place go and get burned up and when it get burned up your ass get burned up all right along with it because i all you could see how we how you you want look for a physical way to escape that destruction to, to, to try and find a way out all right when the scripture say what well, come out of her my people the scripture was basically saying hey come up into the chariots come up into the chariots yet mentally you had to come out of the ways of america first and foremost but physically when you have a bar shami or shai come go and tell us go and tell us Come out of all my people and we go and get delivered apparatus that we are part of the elect. But now if you cannot see a so-called UFO coming to deliver you. Hey and I, hey, and I say you had to have a lot of faith to remain in this thing like, like the apostles and them. Because them and them they don't I don't I don't know them personally. I don't know them personally like I meet them or, or talk to them or whatever but when the scripture is saying i believe them to be men of the lord right when the scripture is saying james the scripture say right um had not the most high chosen the poor of this world rich in faith right and hey hey scripture say as he is so are we in this world right so as yahweh shai was yahweh shai made himself poor for for the uh, for 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 our sakes, they made themselves poor. The scripture says there is that make it himself poor 
that had great riches, they made themselves poor. They didn't run down the riches of this world. And they've been out there for years, right? They've been out there for years. They didn't run down the riches of this world to try and escape. But they would believe that America is going to be destroyed. They're over there. Right? They're over there. For years doing the work. Believing that America is going to be destroyed. They didn't study to find a way to, 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 to carnally get away out of America. You know, they stay in America and, the, 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 and that, that, that take a great deal of faith. And they were... You had to have for when these days come. You can't be soon shaken in mind because you could you could try and figure out a kind way to deliver yourself. You say, hey, you know, you see the destruction, hey, my thing happening, but, but we had to get away out, bro. All you just had to do is believe in your heart, but Hashem, you was shy, and the Lord going to deliver we. Okay? The Lord Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh is going and deliver us. He going and he going and literally, Lord willing, we are part of the, the elect. Beam us up into the chariots, and we will be safe from that destruction. Because as I say, we we crazy. All right, we understand through the scriptures that. Destruction going on, come on, we could see that clearly, clearly. Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai open our eyes to see it, we could see it clear as day that it going on happen. We, we not preparing kind of little to, to, to secure ourselves. No, we, we have faith in the Lord. The Lord say, it going to be destroyed and I, I go and deliver you from that destruction. So, why should we kind of look for pre preparation from, you know, that destruction? That not making sense. That means why you're soon shaken in mind. You're, you're scared. You're scared. You're, you're ain't sure that you're going to be safe from your hawa ba shami ya shai. Buy your hawa ba shami ya shai. Alright? You're in short because you're studying way boy. Because if you just constantly focus on the carnal things, and what really going on take place, you will you will get fucking scared. I tell you, yeah, you you will get scared, you will see. Huh? So how so how how we going on? How we gonna escape that way? That way you go on to the study, but how we gonna escape that way? Can't escape that way. No, we could escape that, bro. Yeah, well, shy don't say, hey, I will deliver you from that. You don't frighten yourself. Just do I do my works. Go outside there and preach. And eh, I will deliver you from that destruction. That's what you have a shy say. You have a shy. That's what I say. So that why it takes a great deal of faith to go outside the on the highways and the byways. That right there alone showing that you really believe because we poor men. <laughs> we poor men. I will live in the midst of the unafflicted and poor people and they shall hope to call or call on the name of the Lord. We is poor men. We don't have no underground bunkers. We don't have no international space stations, but we rooting and hoping, hoping and rooting for your Hawa Ba'asham Yahushai to make you return and to destroy this place. Knowing full well physically, we do not have nothing to help we, to save we from the destruction on a physical level. Knowing that, but on a spiritual level, we have belief, we have a faith that on a spiritual level, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, and the innumerable Hosea angels will come and deliver we and make we more safe than anybody else on the face of the earth when that time come. And that way is, that is the definition of what you call what? Faith. The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And hey, not a lot of men have it. 
Hey, how about you, Adam? Hey, pray, pray to the Lord to increase your faith. Pray to the Lord to keep your, keep your faith first and foremost. Like make sure that faith remain within you, that belief. You understand? Because you believe. Alright? You have to believe. Now is the time of belief. Okay? Now is the time of belief. Um, I'm going to get a precept there. This is the book of First Thessalonians, chapter 4. And verse 16. Are we from verse 15? Are we from verse 14? It says, For if for if we believe, see, that Yahweh Shai died and rose again. If we believe that, even so them also which sleep in Yahweh Shai will the most I bring with them. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Yahweh shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds which is the chariots to meet the lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the lord wherefore comfort one another with these words now the point that the matter is right for i just read you cannot physically see you can't physically see, but you could, you physically, you could see a nuclear missile. You could physically see that. But uh, as I said earlier, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As the scripture I read earlier, slack, yeah, not me. I didn't say it. The scripture said, the word I have about Hashem, I wish I said, through the apostle Allah, Peter. Okay? Once you, once you believe that, the Lord and not slack concerning any promise. This also is a promise of the Lord to the men and them who believe in His Son. As we open, as it opened and said, it said, For if you believe that Yahweh Shai died and rose from the dead, if you believe that this is what will happen to you, you will be delivered from the destruction to come. So don't be soon shaken in mind when you see like the situation around you overwhelming. It didn't, it didn't really overwhelm it. Just demons. That is all it is. Demons trying to fuck with your mind. Because it's not overwhelm it. Okay? We could hold on to our Basham Yahushai and make it out of this place. We could hold on. We could. You know? Yeah, next precept day. Um, that precept I forget, boy. That precept I precept forget. Matthew twenty four. Verse 29, it says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give a light, and the stars of shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven, with power and great glory and he shall send his angels with a great song of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the earth even to the other all right the elect one be gathered this is why you will do your work give diligence to make your what calling an election what sure that way you will work 
they are they are the ones who are going to be gathered all right so you want to be gathered along with them now how it is you're going to be gathered is in the chariots as i say of yahweh basham yahushai have faith in it that it will come all right have faith in it that hey, hey, it, it will come sometime soon and the lord when, when them nuclear missiles shoot off Hey, the, the, the Lord and God immediately perish with the young God Levi was doing his work. The Lord is not, a, not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have showed toward his name, in that you have ministered unto the saints and do minister. Alright? So, yeah, hey, point of the matter is to be soon shaken in mind when you see like water more than flower on a physical level as Elisha told us on the study there will be many more with us than be with them all right we have more with we than them have with them they don't have none with them we have more with us we can see them but we have to believe that the day and the, hey, the day that has been fighting for we from day to day we have to say to what I have about Shami or Shai begging for we you know, the angels are the Lord, messengers are Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So we give, hey, so that, you know, fully been edified and I will give all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Akakodash, and double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Stay strong, Akiam. You almost out of here. Shalom.